Onto this menu, a delicious and easy recipe that cannot be beat. Delicious veggie, poke bowl. Lei ho ma, I'm Will Young from YoungMainCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This recipe is so delicious and it's really simple to put together. Let's begin. Half cup black rice. Rinse and drain the rice two to three times to get rid of the excess starch. Half cup water. So this here is wakame seaweed, traditionally used to make seaweed salad. Now this stuff expands like crazy, but it will also add an incredible delicious umami to that rice. So we're going to add it with the rice, but we're going to break them down first. Literally we'll only be using about one gram of this. Tear the seaweed into small pieces and add it to the rice. Keep in mind the seaweed will expand. Medium high heat. When the water starts to bubble, to give it a good stir and turn the heat down to medium low. Cover and cook for 15 minutes. About 50 grams of purple cabbage, finely sliced. Chop about half a small carrot into fine matchsticks. Once the green onion finely chopped. Cube half of a large avocado. After 15 minutes, turn the heat off and let the rice steam for 10 minutes. Chop a couple of cooked beets into small cubes. When the rice is cooked, give it a good stir and let it cool. There's really not too much to it. It's really simple, but really delicious. Now this episode is actually a companion video to the recipe that's inside the Cook with Confidence cookbook. And it's also the picture on the back cover. If you'd like to learn more about this cookbook or the vegan ramen cookbook, I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check that out, take a sneak peek inside the book, or order your signed copy. Now, we just need to make that delicious dressing. One tablespoon lemon juice. One tablespoon maple syrup. One tablespoon miso paste. This is a Korean chili paste or gochujang. You can buy this at any Asian supermarket, or I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check out how to make this really easily, kind of a quick version at home. One tablespoon gochujang. One teaspoon toasted sesame oil. One and a half tablespoons soy sauce. Whisk. A 
I'm just making enough for a bowl for myself today, but this dressing should be good enough for two portions. All right, let's see if I can assemble this in the same manner. Generously plate the rice and seaweed. Beets. Avocado. Carrots. Purple cabbage. Quarter cup edamame. Quarter cup corn. Green onion. Dressing. Sprinkle with black sesame seeds, white sesame seeds. Serve with a wedge of lime. I think that's pretty darn close. What do you think? You can now enjoy this light and refreshing poke bowl with absolute confidence. This is definitely going to be very tasty. This bowl is definitely a party I'd like to attend. You get amazing flavor and incredible texture that just really plays really well harmoniously together. You have that saltiness from the soy sauce, a little spiciness from the gochujang, and you get the toasted sesame oil aroma, as well as that kind of umami sort of flavor from the miso paste and the soy sauce and the gochujang. The lemon juice adds a little bit of that tanginess as well as it just really brightens up that dressing. You get that sweetness from the maple syrup and it goes really well with the tender, sweet cooked beets. The rice definitely just absorbs all of that delicious dressing. And of course you don't have to use black rice, you can use whatever rice you have on hand. I would recommend short grain or sushi rice. The crunchy texture from the thinly sliced matchstick carrots and the shredded red cabbage is just delicious. Adds that really beautifully crunchy texture. The edamame and the corn also adds into that crunchy texture and that corn adds that delicious sweetness that goes really well with the acidity in the dressing. Of course the avocado adds that delicious buttery texture that goes really well with those cooked beets as well as the soft fluffy rice. So incredibly tasty. I mean that rice just absorbs all of that dressing as well as that delicious umami from the wakame seaweed that we cooked along with the rice. Visually stunning. Definitely one of those dishes that you have to make more often. I can definitely sit down with a big bowl of this and just eat this non-stop. It is so tasty. If you love easy and tasty recipes like this, then definitely check out the Vegan Ramen Cookbook or the Cook with Confidence Cookbook. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check these out, take a sneak peek inside the book, or order your signed copy. Of course, as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.